Now playing the fucking bridge podcast. I fucking love Kesha. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm the worst person to have a podcast. I can barely speak. Oh my god, I love screaming! <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Hook and Bridge podcast. I am your host, Harley. Taylor is out of town, so today it's just me and my lovely wife, Lindsay. And we are joined by a very special guest. Um, so I'm going to intro this the right way because you're making Hook and Bridge podcast history here. Um, you are the first country artist that we have had on the show in 64 episodes. Mm-hmm. Really? You well, are. It's yes. It's an honor. It's a pleasure. <laughs> um, so me out. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Um, so please, everybody, welcome to the show. Chris Clark. How are you doing, Chris? I'm doing great, man. I hope I don't ruin it for uh, for the rest of the. I hope you don't want to do any more country. You know, <laughs> don't not want to do any more country artists after me. But I'm doing great, man. It's a uh, nice and Nashville stormyish day. A little bit. Uh, clouds are clouds are out as usual. Mm-hmm. Um, monsoon season a little bit, but uh, yeah, we're doing good over here. Just in the studio. Nice. And I really appreciate y'all having me on. This is going to be fun. Yeah, man, absolutely. It, dude, it's going to be so much fun. You're going to leave laughing. You're going to have a great time. And we're going to start the laughs right now. So we, um, I'm a laugher. So. <laughs> I do research on all of my guests. Um, you're newer to the scene, so it's a little more difficult. Yeah. However, I have one really big question that I just found out a little bit ago. Oh, yeah. Who do I have to pay to get an article written like this? Up and coming country music heartthrob, Chris Clark releases the girls of Tennessee. So, so who do I write to, to become a heartthrob as well? Um, well, I mean, you just have to have a good PR, you, you know, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Kat Atwood. I mean, I don't know. That one just popped up somewhere. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. But, yeah, uh, man. yeah, no. Be proud was, of yeah, that. Press one. releases are important, though. I mean, it's crazy. Sometimes I get like the articles, you know, written completely, you know, by somebody about me, which is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as I know, there's more probably going to be more coming um, as things progress in my career. I'm really early, um, <laughs> you know, and I've I've got so much music to release, and, and mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. some a lot of it's ready to pretty ready to go. It just needs to be mastered and stuff. But I'm I just. So I'm going like this with the, the songs, like how, like, you know, how I think people would like them. Right. So I started right. with the girls of Tennessee and then glass half empty is a little better than that. And then I think halfway to Memphis is, you know, a little better than glass half empty and then small town heart attacks next. And then we've got a whole, the old me and we've got, you know, all these yeah. other songs yeah. ready to do, you know, and ready to get out there and start um, really touring and, and all that. Anyways. So, so let's talk about that career. So uh, you and I come from similar backgrounds. Um, I know that you are from California. I am not. Um, <laughs> but you are from like the industrial market world, which is what I do for a living outside of this show. Um, yeah. So you were a, a civil engineer, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was a civil engineer. Um, I, you know, I so I went to school for it um, over at Chico State over in Northern California and uh, it was a great time, you know, it was party school. I don't know how I graduated. But <laughs> I graduated with like a three one or something like that, which is pretty good for, mm-hmm. you know, how much kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was like stuff, we were, you know, ex- extracurricular activities that we we're all doing. And um, but then I started working um, as an engineer for my family's company, which is Clark Pacific. Mm-hmm. Hence the name Chris Clark, because I when I left, I'm like, I want to take a little piece of my past with me. Mm-hmm. My mom's maiden name's Clark. My my last name's Ferragamo. That's mm-hmm. a, my my real last name. Don't tell anybody, but they're probably don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so yeah, Chris, my real first name. But it's funny in California, people call me Gino Ferragamo, and over in Nashville, nobody knows that that was my name over there because my nickname was Gino. <laughs> it was Gino <laughs> Ferragamo over there, and I'm Chris Clark over here, so I have a whole alter ego. Nice. Um, yeah, not split personalities too much, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not psycho. <laughs> um, so, so I know you you, you started out over there, right? And yeah. um, the story that I heard was that you had uh, kind of helped some friends out, right? And yeah, things went yes. south. 
Mm -hmm. So I, so I was, uh, so I got like tapped on the shoulder by one of my, my old fraternity brothers from Sigma Pi. Um, he said, Hey, I've got some friends that want to meet you. Um, maybe he knew that I like had a little money saved up or something. <laughs> and so he's trying to help his friends. Um, and there's some, th some rappers from, from the Galt area and they, you know, they brought me in and I was like their manager, right? I gave them like 10,000 bucks and like bought them a bunch of studio equipment. And then basically they um, ended up uh, kicked me out of the group because I didn't know that they owed a hundred thousand to somebody else. And they're trying to kind of like, was like, oh getting it was getting fishy. Right. So basically they did that. And then I had quit engineering for them. And I moved back in with my parents, started moonlighting, singing and songwriting. Cause I had my equipment back and, and I'd never sang anything or done anything musical before 2019. Wow. <laughs> before the second half of 2019, like I didn't even know. So I've completely switched my life from engineering to, you know, Right. But so when did you pick up the guitar? Because I mean, the guitar isn't something you pick <laughs> up in three years. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been I was playing off and on since I was 13. Okay. Like my dad um, had me do lessons and stuff when I was 13. I did it for like a couple of years. And then I kind of like, I don't know, I wasn't too into it for some reason. I, I would like skateboarding and like, you know, like sports and all that. And um, it's like lacrosse and, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um but then I got into like DJ equipment, like in when I was 16, it was kind of crazy. Like I had PA speakers and, uh, you know, turntables and mixer in my room in my parents' house. <laughs> they let me have these big old Mackie thumps in my parents' house. It was crazy. <laughs> and uh, so I'd be bumping music, doing that and um, mixing and all that uh, mm -hmm. there. But then I just kind of, music kind of just was something that we'd just play over at, at parties and stuff in college and you know, I didn't really like, I don't know. And I just came back into it uh, during like 2019. Um, you know, I just, I heard my buddy sing some Morgan Wallen, like mm -hmm. on, uh, and you probably heard this if you heard it in another interview, but like, <clears throat> I say it like this, cause this is kind of crazy. And Morgan's one of my favorite uh, artists, but he started playing Morgan, singing Morgan Wallen on my stuff over my parents' house. And then I was like, damn, you sound good. He's like, I don't sing. And I was like, let me try. So I get in there, I'm like, dang, I could probably, might be able to sing. <laughs> so I just kept on doing it. <laughs> That's basically the, the synopsis. Uh, right. Of, uh, you know. <laughs> so, it's a good so, so as far as um, a music career, so coming from that background and everything, and, you know, I, I know you were really into like rap music and stuff. Um, coming from that type of musical background, at yeah. what point did you kind of switch to country or realize that you were into country? Oh man. So there's two things here. Um, the first would be going on the boat with my dad. Um, you know, I just like with my family and my dad would just put on some country look combs and, and all that. And I was like, dang, this is great. And then more country songs came on. Cause I didn't really listen to country too much mm -hmm. you know, growing up. Um, all my cousins are like live out in the country, mm -hmm. you know, aunts and uncles and stuff. So they'd have it on, but like we're my school and stuff, my high school and nobody listened to that really. Um, I wasn't, I was the FFA treasurer though. I was like in that. Um, but um, so there's that. And then the second thing is, I, I really want to stick to country because I love our country and, you know, the, the roots of America, like that's teaching. I think the country teaches some good morals and it helps people get through problems also. And I think, you know, when that whole thing, the 2020, all the riots and stuff was going on, I was like, I need, I need to somehow find my voice and, and how I can like steer the country, the right back to, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, loving our country again and stop all the fighting and hate and stuff, you know? So that's kind of it. <laughs> so, yeah. so given that answer, um, outside of rap and country, were you into like metal or hard rock or you know, um, soft rock? Before I was into like alternative, like okay. a little alternative and a little pop here and there. I liked I liked a little bit of uh, rock and stuff too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, what? What's your I mean, like, I liked anything really. What's, what's your stuff? What's your biggest musical inspiration? Like your your artist that you would say is like a, a big influence on on you and your sound. R Randy Hauser, I would say. I love Ooh. Randy Hauser. Like, and it's random, but he's he's a <laughs> she's a great guy, and I like his like you know run out of moonlight and mm -hmm. 
you know, some of his songs like that. And mm -hmm. his, his melodies are just amazing. They flow and then they kind of just take you up on this roller coaster and so right. I see it, you know. So um, I kind of try to do that with mine. So full full disclosure, <laughs> I am not into country music. I used to, <laughs> used to be. Used, used to be. be. Um, <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I kind of tapped out around the time that Jason Aldean was coming into the scene. Um, okay. So been out of it for a you little. Like the bit. old country. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, however, I you know listen to your songs, and I do. I really do like the the Girls of mm -hmm. Tennessee song. It's very catchy. Um, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate so it. with with you That's being a fun one, from, it is. It's a fun song, right? And and yeah. with you being from California, and you moved to Nashville, um, I assume you wrote that in your time in Nashville. Oh yeah, yeah. I wrote <laughs> like most of the songs. I mean, I have a stack of papers like this big with like songs that I've just written in California. But when I came here, like first three weeks I was here, I had like a one way ticket, and then I just. I was writing with Tommy Collier and we just wrote 11 songs and produced pretty much 11 songs within the first three weeks of me being here. And it was crazy, like <clears throat> crazy fast and, and crazy cool. Um, um, but what was your question again? Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I was, was just I asking. So, so I assumed you wrote it in while you were in yeah, Tennessee, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, is it, uh, cause I, I know you had said you, you have a girlfriend, right? Um, yeah. So was this prior to her by chance? <laughs> um, this is like right when this is the day after I met her. I wrote this one, and oh, like okay. I yeah, and, and or like two days after maybe. It's either that or two days after our date, first date. <laughs> so I was <laughs> um, Tommy came over to my Airbnb. It was like downtown Nashville, and um, we started writing and stuff. And then I was like, I want to write about this girl I met in Tennessee, and uh, and he's like, well you know, that might be a little too singular for like people that are listening. So like, what about the girls, you know, of Tennessee or the girls in Tennessee or something? I'm like, oh, the girls of Tennessee would be cool. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's awesome. kind of how that happened. <laughs> now, um, Glass Half Empty, I think is the other one, right? Or Yeah, Glass Half yeah, Empty is the second half one. Empty. So oh, yeah. is that about her then? Um, That one's kind of a random, like randomly... So basically it's kind of about a relationship on the rocks, you know, like people, it's like the, something that gets you, gives you pleasure in the moment, doesn't necessarily make things last, like drinking, you know, like the bottom's going to run, the bottle's going to run out, but it also like shows you're drunk on the love and the love's running out as well, you know, as you, it's kind of like that, um, <clears throat> the glass, you know, um, but yeah, so that's, that's that one. It's, that one's a great song though. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's that's yeah. far deeper than than I was thinking it would be, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, all these songs have like a lot of meaning, but I mean the way it came about though was we're talking about a sound engineer, uh um Tommy's and my sound engineer, um, Jimmy Cooper. And we're like, he's kind of a or Tommy's like, he's kind of a melancholy dude. And I was like, Yeah, he's a little glass half empty. And then we looked at each other, we're like, <laughs> and then he starts strumming on the guitar and i'm starting to like sing some melodies you know like <laughs> that's, that's awesome <laughs> yeah yeah it's a good time so tell us a little bit about um your career moving forward where are you going and and what's the uh what's the game plan um over the you know the next summer or, or even just the next six months yeah so so my plan is to release this next single um, I want to get the music video, music video done, um, which is, they get really expensive, man. It's, <laughs> it gets kind of crazy, you know, and I'm an independent, so, <clears throat> you know, hey, labels, look at me, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> look over here. Um, I want to do that. I want to get um, some opportunities for some bigger gigs, bigger shows. Um, you know, I'm going to go to like, you know, go back to the listening room, but over here, um, I want to do third and lindsley over here which is a big mm -hmm. venue um maybe the bluebird yeah, um, yeah and all that you know um and get my merch out i just got so i got approved for tribe 615 um which is my label that i'm under right now that i created and um it's kind of my dad and i oh no nice. he's a big part of my team like he's like the manager and, 
Aww. also like just my best friend, you know. That's and awesome. so we were starting to sell some merch and stuff for this for Tribe Six One Five, and starting to try to bring some other artists in so we can get them, you know, their names embroidered on hats and whatnot. Um, you know that kind of thing. I mean, just get my numbers up too with Spotify and mm -hmm. Amazon, or Apple Music and Amazon and whatnot. Um, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. something, anything that can like you know provide growth, and then also like I'm meeting um, with I'm meeting with some uh, cool people um this next week for like one's a tv person and i've got a big meeting they're flying out from la my dad's flying out from california also and got that going on meeting with an a and r i believe they're they were a and r for this big uh entertainment company or label nice. so yeah so we'll see what happens with these you know all these little opportunities you always have to like you know take them as they come that's right it's like more than likely the opportunities will kind of go you know by the wayside but after a little while you start, you're going to start to reap some benefits from them and, you know, all that, but all I want to do with like all the, my whole goal with music is to show people they can do anything that they put their mind, heart and soul into. Like if I could do it, anyone else could do it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Just got to um, try. So while you're in Tennessee, <laughs> while you're over in Nashville, there is a local band from Ohio. Um, okay. Huge fans. They uh, just moved there. Yep, That's yep, why we're saying that. They're, great friends oh, of the moved? show and oh, yeah cool. they just moved so if you get a chance check out the ohio weather band while you're down there i'm gonna write that um, down real quick it's called the ohio weather band yeah the ohio weather band they're absolutely incredible but i i think that your sound with theirs would really mesh mm -hmm. well um so you guys you guys should get in contact and, and do something together that'd be great i'd love to yeah tell them uh, tell them i'm totally down yeah, yeah, for so sure. Let me know, and I'll, I'll I'll look for them on like Instagram and stuff. And yeah, yeah. Out. Guy uh, Corey great. King is the lead singer, and and he's just he's an incredible guy. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll love their sound, man. Um, I love it. That's so awesome. as as far as uh, yeah, exactly. guitar goes, um, what do you play mainly? Just acoustic, or do you kind of play everything at this point? Yeah, I mean, I've got. Um... I've got a cool hummingbird of a 1960 uh, custom. I can show you. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of messy in here. There's the 1960 oh, yeah. custom range here. <laughs> There's Colin. <laughs> <laughs> what up? And then I've got the, uh, that's a 1968 custom uh, Les Paul right over there. Nice. That's, cool. that's a custom Colin right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, so I, I like, I like guitars. Um, I'm getting better, but, um, you know, I'm still like, I'm like, I'm the on the cusp of like being able to sing or play well with the rhythm and singing. So I'm mm -hmm. like right there. I just didn't think that, you know, it's a, it's a new single for me, you know, glass half empty is a little easier, but it's a new single for me. So I want right. to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely, man. Um, so as far as being a musician, though, is there any instrument that you wish you know how to play? Man, the pedal steel is pretty dang cool. The banjo is awesome. Like, I I was thinking, I was so close to pulling the trigger on a banjo the other day. <laughs> Man, oh, those things have such a crazy sound. And, you know, in the studio over here, we can just record whatever. And Right, right. You know, but professional recordings, I go to Hilltop Recording Studio over in mm -hmm. uh, like Northeast Nashville. Gotcha. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, I mean I I love I want to play every instrument really. I mean keyboard, I play some piano and stuff. Um yeah, whatever comes my way, I'll see what happens. You know. Nice. <laughs> we'll make it happen. I, I, lo I love the attitude, man. I really do. Oh um, yeah. You gotta have that here, man. You have to have tough skin. It's just <laughs> sharks everywhere and <laughs> just failure is rampant. Yeah, um, it'll follow you around, but you just got to take it and make those some W's, you know? That's right. <clears throat> so we have one final question that we ask all of our guests, and then we're going to play this super fun game. Mm. Um, and then That's we'll go ahead and do... <laughs> <laughs> so the, the uh, show is called The Hook and Bridge Podcast for a reason, right? So um, I consider myself like the hook of the show, the entertainer, and my little sister is like the bridge of the show. She's 95% of the time here. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I love that. Um, and then my lovely wife, Lindsay, here is the and symbol that holds everything together. So we ask all of our guests this. What, when you're writing music, 
what is important to you the hook versus the bridge the age-old argument which is more important important in your compositions i feel like they they have different purposes um like the hook keeps the keeps somebody um engaged um you know with kind of what it kind of reinforces the verses right and mm-hmm. kind of is the glue a little bit but the bridge also like it's there's a resolution sometimes as was you know some resolve in that um tells a little bit more of the story that the verses you know sometimes the verses are more um visual or or not so it's either emotional versus visual in my mind um i don't know i mean the, i can't really give you an answer they're like which one's more important i think they're both very important because some some just have instrumental bridges and some mm-hmm. just have mm-hmm. uh, vocal bridges, you know, and no like solos. And right. So it's kind of, I don't know if it's, if there's a bridge in there, then, then there's a reason that it's in there. You know, this next song doesn't really have like a vocal bridge um, or that halfway to Memphis doesn't, but um, it's just got like some chanty kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But so- yeah, so for me that was a long answer <laughs> no no you're good um for me i i always tell everybody to me uh, a bridge can elevate a song from great to legendary like every legendary song has a really great bridge um yeah. the hook is essential because you need to entertain you need to bring the audience in but a really great bridge can take that song from just great <clears throat> to legendary standing the test of time so they're totally yeah that's awesome. a good, that's a good point yeah bridges <laughs> I've got some cool bridges in other songs. Um, this one, I just felt like it needed to be shorter and didn't really need it said enough in like the lyrics. Right. So, no, it, I, yeah, I've definitely, I <laughs> definitely have written some songs without bridges. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and pull this up here. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. And then you want to hit all right there we go right on. oh blank <laughs> and then you want to hit slide oh show. here we go this is good. Show. here we go all right man so this is the hook and bridge podcast presents blank mary kill and it's gonna be you versus me i think or and you colin you wanna... may also play yeah colin, colin, colin's like play. welcome to play as well we'll let chris do it <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Chris is time. yeah it's about time to yeah. shine yeah chris. <laughs> Colin, you're welcome to play you, a second. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to oh, see it a little bit take over my interview Oh, um man. and and just so you know, I don't think yeah. I even mentioned it before, but this is an explicit show. You are welcome to say anything you would like. Mm-hmm. Don't feel free okay. to, or don't feel like you have to have any type of filter. Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> so we only call it blank Mary Kill because it's uh easier to put in the description that way. Oh um, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first up, um we have You have Carrie Underwood, you have Face Hill, and you have Miranda Lambert. All right. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, hmm. Mary Carey. <laughs> Wait, do I go first or do you go? Yeah, no, Carey. no, you go first. You go first. Okay. Uh, Mary Carey. Um, um, blank Miranda and Kill Fit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Um, <laughs> Yeah, all right. So we got Carrie Underwood, mm-hmm. Faith Hill, mm-hmm. and who's the third one? Miranda Lambert. All right. I'm going to I'm also going to kill Faith Hill. Why? Um, and <laughs> here's why. Um I don't have a reason really. <laughs> um I'm going to yeah, okay. marry I'm gonna marry Carrie Underwood and, and uh fuck Miranda Lambert. All right. <laughs> She has a whole oh, dog. Man. That's your like, wife. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. She has a whole dog charity thing, so that makes sense for you. Who Carrie? Oh. No, Miranda Lambert. Oh, Miranda Lambert. I do oh, love dogs. Nice. Mm-hmm. I do love dogs. <gasps> See, the thing with Faith God. Hill is she's a, she's a very beautiful lady, mm-hmm. but it would be like banging my mom. Ew. And it's weird, <laughs> right? It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would get a little bit. That would get a little bit weird. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> so you got Tim McGraw. Uh, you got George Strait. You got Alan Jackson. 
Now, uh, mind you, she picked all these. This I me. did. Um, yeah. Go so ahead. Tim like <laughs> Tim liked one of my songs. Uh, That's so exciting. Uh, yeah. Well, but I but I'm gonna kill him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um George, uh, Mary, mm -hmm. and blank nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'm man enough to say it. I'll go ahead and say it here. I'm going to, I'm going to marry Tim McGraw. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there you go. I'm going to, I'm gonna have to kill the legendary Alan Jackson. As much as I hate it, and you, yeah. you love him, I do. Uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't do that to that poor man. <laughs> However, George Strait. <laughs> Um, he's he's an all right looking guy. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you gotta say it. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to say oh, it, man? I'll say it. I'm gonna fuck no, no, George no, 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 Strait. No, no, no. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. That's funny. Oh man. All right, you got Jana Kramer, you have Cheryl Crow, and you have Shania Twain in her prime. In her prime, I like the distinction. Uh, in her prime. Maybe kill Shania Twain. Mary, uh, the middle one, and then blank the one on the left. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. For me, uh, I'd have to. I'd have to kill Cheryl Crow. Mm. Um, yeah. and I would have to marry. I mean, gotta marry Shania Twain in her prime. In her prime. Oh my god. <laughs> That one music video, which one was it? Where she has the the leather or no, it's not leather. It's like like uh, rubbery gloves. Latex. Yeah, what's that music? Man, video? I feel like a woman. That's the one. And I don't know who this lady is. Janet Kramer. So I'm I'm gonna fuck right. her. There you go. All right. All right. <laughs> cool wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh boy. You have Keith Urban, Brad Paisley, and Josh Turner. Oh man. Uh Mary Mary Keith Urban. Blank uh um wait. Oh uh, Brad and kill uh Turner. Oh no. Mine's going to be basically the exact opposite of that. <laughs> I'm going to marry Josh Turner. Yes. I'm going to uh, fuck um, Brad Paisley. <laughs> and I'm going to kill Keith Urban. <laughs> oh my God. Well, hey, Keith, at least Keith Urban looks like he's got the girl, more girly hair. Nah, that's true. That is very true. He's got a, uh, he's got a soft face. Yeah, because yeah. uh, Josh Turner now has like, a huge beard. When I'm oh doing God. Brad Paisley, I'm gonna oh make God, him. I'm gonna make him sing ticks. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, this, right. this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Like ding dong ding. All right, uh, so we went with a whole band now. So you have Brooks oh, and Dunn, man. you have Little Big Town, and then you have all of Zach Brown Band. Oh my God! Uh, Mary Brooks and Dunn. Because they're awesome. Let's keep them around. Um, uh, let's see. Maybe was that Zach Brown Band? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. They all their songs kind of sound the same to me. Mm -hmm. I have the same kind of melodies and the same thing. So kill them and then blank the bottom. Little big town. Little big, big town. Little big town. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you got you got to keep Brooks and Dunn around. I mean, yeah, you got to keep them legends. Around. My oh, Maria, yeah. man. They have to have separate yeah. ceremonies though, because they don't talk to each other. <laughs> oh, uh, oh yeah. Um, yeah, definitely gonna marry them. I think mine's the exact same as his. I'm gonna marry them. I'm gonna kill Zach Brown Band, and and I'm gonna bang a little Big Town. Bang a little Big Town. Nope. <laughs> bang oh, bang little, little, town. little Bang Town. You're gross. <laughs> oh, 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 that's it. That's yep. it, man. You made it through. Look, that <laughs> wasn't so bad. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Nobody yeah. won. We all, yeah, nobody won. Call it because he <laughs> didn't have to play. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, shit. Right oh, on, man. Man. <laughs> that, that was a good laugh. That was that was a good laugh. That was a good laugh. Everybody <laughs> oh, needs a gosh. laugh. All right. <laughs> so um 
before we get to the performance, uh, is there anything, any shows coming up that you want to promote? This doesn't come out until the end of August or like the middle. Um, so, yeah, we're so we're um, in the process of booking some uh, shows and also like a TV, kind of a TV performance. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll keep that on my website. The dates aren't exact yet, but some stuff's coming in like November and um, October and stuff. So if you know, if you guys are around too, I mean, hopefully we're going to have it live streamed and all that. Yeah. Um, I am on the country network. Um, so the country network has me, has my, my song on rotation, like in my music video and stuff, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a huge accomplishment, man. I know, man, it was crazy. And then I got uh, number 61 this last week, um, for, um, the music row uh, breakout chart. So mm-hmm. that's pretty big. Like, it's for FM radio and stuff across the country, like for in the indicator charts. So right. they started spinning my song a lot. And uh, I even heard it on the radio myself. <laughs> I was like, that was, that made my life hearing my own song on the, yeah. on the radio station. You know, that's, yeah, Damn, it was man, awesome. That's, that's awesome. It, it's so cool to see somebody's dreams coming true, man. That's, that's awesome. It, it's crazy, man. It's just a positive attitude. And that, that usually, you know, being nice to people and working hard, just like yeah. this thing says. Well, and the heartthrob thing helps a lot too. So. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> marketability. Come on. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, so let's talk about the new single, man. You got halfway to Memphis coming out in uh, the middle of August, right? Or well, I end guess the August. end of August, yeah, August twenty fifth. So yeah, yeah. So August twenty fifth, it's coming out. Um, it's kind of like a. So basically, the storyline is uh, so fallen so this is how it's read on my press release and mm-hmm. this is kind of how it goes but it's falling for a ride or die uh, ride or die the road trip from nashville to memphis so it's so it's like on the road between nashville and memphis uh, may lead to forever or where heartbreak begins so like you're with this girl um and it's kind of like is she really you guys really in love you know or is it just the trip that's that's doing it um it's so it basically takes the listener through um a journey or on a journey between the romantic romantic notion and reality so maybe it's not real maybe it's just kind of like a kind of like the glass half empty kind of thing right uh, you know um she she's kind of a ghost um but that's kind of how the music video the music video is going to show the story like way better than i can explain it so i was no english major um, <laughs> <laughs> an engineer but i mean i love writing so right um right. yeah so it's pretty much um yeah about a relationship <laughs> but it's it's like a relationship to be or to fail right right that's yeah, awesome man. it's a hard-hitting song i like it like you know it's gonna be cool awesome so yeah. uh guess you're gonna play for us right you're gonna play the new yeah, single for me, us let me switch this around real quick wow. yeah here we go now do you guys do any covers in your set at all um so like when i'm when I'm doing, uh, when I'm singing, sometimes, sometimes I do, but usually it's writer's rounds and I just do like, um, uh, you know, my own songs and stuff. Mm-hmm. I've got more than enough songs to do. Right. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> nice. But uh, let me know when y'all are ready. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yep. Go for it. You guys ready? So, so this is Halfway to Memphis. Uh, Chris yeah, Clark's yeah. new single comes out August 25th. This, um, is, so this is Colin right here, um, Matt Shack, and he's uh, right, that's his name? Yeah, that's Matt it. Shack, yeah, he's he's the man. He's very nice to be playing guitar for me today. Oh, so, awesome. We'll uh, we'll get this thing going on right now. All it's, right, let's do it. Awesome. Okay, is so, you ready? ready? Yep. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Way to Memphis on a highway for a drive. Between a small talk and kisses, you playing with that radio dial. Nothing too serious, just laughing on a Sunday ride till I call you looking at me. I looked in your eyes, is this the real thing? Or is this just open? I wasn't even looking, girl, now I'm falling in. We call forever. We're a heartbreak. Things I don't have the answer. Don't feel it. What I'm feeling. I don't want this ride. 
Nice man, awesome. Very, very so we're doing that bridge part, that little like that light bridge because it's a girl on the uh, actual <laughs> actual track, so I don't really practice that one too much. Mm-hmm. Just <laughs> Hell yeah, oh, man! Right on, guys. guys. <laughs> you guys doing anything fun tonight? Um, well, we're actually both getting over COVID, so. Oh, shit. Oh yeah. So a couple more interviews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, we actually so um not tonight, but tomorrow we will be recording our first annual uh battle of the bands, which your uh PR department entered you in. Mm-hmm. So um All right. this All comes right. out after that. Um but uh tell your fans, go on to our Instagram and vote for you in the Battle of the Bands. It's the it's battle. gonna be awesome. Oh, right on. Yeah, definitely will here. I'm writing that down right now. So basically this is gonna be on uh on Instagram. Is it Instagram like live or are you guys just playing like a so it's gonna on? be um we're going to listen to the songs on the show and then the fans get one vote. So there will be four oh. votes. Um each one of us get a vote and the fans get the fourth vote. Um, the fans right. can submit their vote any way they want. They can email us. They can get on our website and send us something. They can get on our Instagram, right. YouTube, you name it. Um, That's awesome. So, yeah, it, it gives you a leg up, man. You were on the show prior, so it gives you a leg yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I really want to introduce you also, though, to Colin. Like, and maybe, maybe we'll talk about it, getting him on, on the show. He's absolutely, man. Yeah, He's really yeah, good, absolutely. man. He's really good. So. We'll be in touch about that. <laughs> yeah, we we love yeah. talking to musicians, man. That's why we're here. That's why we oh, do yeah. what we do, you know? He's um, young and up and coming, so. Thanks, nice. Man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but yeah, man, I thank you so much for having me on the show and, um, you know, give me a chance to, you know, do a little performance and have some fun with y'all. Yeah, man, absolutely. You're Great welcome time. back anytime, too, man. Mm-hmm. You you oh, shoot me you so over much. a message or an email. I, I followed you on Instagram and everything. Oh, so awesome. I'll, um, I'll follow you guys back. I, I think I have, but I will. Yeah, yeah. Well, feel free to awesome. reach out at any point in time. You're <laughs> always welcome back on the show. It was an absolute pleasure yeah, having you on it. And you've really Looking Bridge show, everybody. Looking <laughs> yeah, Bridge show. Love it, man. And uh, if you want to check me out, uh, my website is www.officialchrisclark.com. And that you can have you know all the links to everything else. Um, and uh, my music and stuff on there, Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere you buy music. Um, and then Instagram, Chris Clark Official Music. Yeah, yeah Chris Clark Official Music. So, oh, yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, gotta you're good. Got to get that man. out there, you know. Got to get the promotion going. Got to <laughs> promote, man. You got to always be promoting. That's very important. Oh, yeah. oh definitely. <laughs> if you guys ever make it down a little further south over to Virginia, you hit us up, yeah. man. We'd love to come totally. out and see you. Yeah, we'll have a beer, too, or something. If you're in Nashville. All right. Promo Paul. Oh, shit. Yet. Okay. So, um, I'm thinking. (laughs) 
Uh, what do we do? Um, hey, everybody, this is Promo Paul here. Um, <laughs> okay, she's never introduced herself, but all right. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to punch that notification bell. Be informed every time we post, post a new episode. Video. Video. Fuck. God damn it. I was so close. Um, and then, you know, go and, and follow the Instagram and uh, um, give us a rate, review, subscribe. Uh, what's that? Check. We're doing all these things. Oh, okay. Um, go check out the website. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, everybody. Peace.